Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos and welcome to this episode. Now for a while now I've been getting a lot of messages here and on Facebook about uh, people trying to figure out how to do orbits or more precisely how to do rendezvous. Now the reason why I haven't made a video about this earlier is basically because there's a lot of videos out there uh, that teach you how to make an orbit or well yeah make a rendezvous I think. <laughs> I haven't looked it up yet, but um, I'm pretty sure Scott Manley's got one out there. I think what I'll do is I'll throw a little something together. Remember, I'm not a professional by any means, but I will show you what I know. So a lot of times in full-blown career mode, you have to deal with astronauts that somehow get stuck in space. You have no idea how. They didn't, they're not around any spacecraft. They're just out there by themselves but of course of course this is so that you can get more people without having to pay for them or something of that nature you you save them and they join your cause or whatever you know whatever cause I don't know I don't know anyway but anyway you have to build a rocket in order to rendezvous with these guys in order to pick them up now when you're about to make a rendezvous you don't want to go ahead and just launch whenever you feel like it you actually have to have a specific time uh, to win the launch a type of launch window if you if you will See, what you're essentially trying to do is launch the rocket just as the target passes over you. So that by the time you get into orbit, you're right in front of the target. Now, for a lot of mod fans out there, there's a bunch of mods out there that allow you to do this perfectly to the letter, to the number, to the second. But for those of you who are more, more stock, you know, you want to try to get your hands dirty and get in there then you're never going to get it perfect, but there's a way to get it close. Now, in the desert region, there's this body of water just right underneath of it. I, I guess you could call it a gulf. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, you want to try to get your target right at this body of water. And that's a good starting point. It's going to be, a, 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 depending on the type of rocket you're launching, whether it's heavy, slow, small, fast, whatever, uh, it will depend on where the target is in this gulf. So you're going to have to play around with it a little bit in order to get it close to perfect. So what I'm essentially doing is I'm creating space between me and the target to allow me to have enough time to get up into orbit before it flies over my head. So now that the target is right over the gulf, just right in the middle, we're going to go ahead and launch our somewhat oversized, overpowered, slightly bigger than it should be rocket. And <laughs> and we're gonna get this person, this this uh, lady Kerbal. We're gonna save the day. Guys, go twelve. Eka eleven. Eka go ten. GNC. We're gonna play. Seven. Main control. We're going to launch. Five. Four. Main engine start. Three. Two. One. Lift off.
So now we're in orbit, but unfortunately it got just, <laughs> our target got a little ahead of us, but that's okay. That is okay. Uh, other than that, the only thing we have to worry about is, yeah, we're not exactly in the right orbit, are we? It's a little crisscrossy going on. You indicate a potential problem. Oh, I don't know how to read all this. What kind of a problem? Now somebody, please, take this ugly bag of snakes and lay them out straight for me. No, don't fear. I'm going to show you how to get it all fixed and worked out. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select your target. Go ahead and mouse over the target and click set as target. This is going to give you a whole bunch of useful information such as where it's going to be in the future, where you're going to be compared to it. But above all it's going to give you something called an ascending node. What this is basically saying is that at this point you and your target's orbit become parallel, directly parallel to each other as you ascend past the orbit of the target. But still, you're parallel and that's important. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a maneuver node at this ascending node so that you can either burn up or down making your orbit level with the target's orbit. So here comes the part that we all know and love, how to actually get to the target. Yes, your orbits are level, you're, you're parallel to each other, but how do you actually get to the target? Well, in orbit, it's a very funny thing. You actually have to speed up in order to slow down, and vice versa, you have to slow down in order to speed up. This is not actually talking about your actual speed as much as it is where your craft is in orbit. All the orbits that are closer to Kerbin travel faster around Kerbin, therefore they move faster. All the orbits away from Kerbin travel slower. So if we're going to catch up to her, we need to go ahead and lower our orbit in order to speed up. And essentially slowing down. I know, it's weird. Now in this scenario, it looks like both of us are in some sort of elliptical orbit which can be a problem because of the fact that at one point I'm moving faster than she is and at one and at another point she's moving faster than I am so it's kind of a cat and mouse game going on the best way to the best way to deal with these kind of orbits is to get as close to her orbit as possible and then lengthen out or in other words equalize yourself to the point where you're almost completely the same orbit so in this instance I try to get as close as possible but I'm a little ahead of her, but I'm going to go ahead and burn or speed up in order to widen out my orbit a little bit past the target's orbit. This allows me to essentially be much slower than she is and essentially she'll catch up to me. So now that we're uber close to each other, it's time for manual approach. That basically means get out of the map view look at your target and use your RCS as well as some of your rocket fuel to start moving towards the target. The best way to do this is to click on your nav ball until it says target. This allows you to see well not only how fast you're going towards your target but also allows you to see if you're actually aiming towards the target. Look at your prograde. Is your prograde lined up to your target's uh, prograde? I think that's what it's called. Anyway moving on. So finally now we're able to slow down and we're about parallel to with, with one another and uh, at Navball our targets prograde and our prograde are pretty much lined up. We're in good shape, we're in good shape. Other than the obvious fact that we're in total freaking darkness. But this is why we always carry a light bulb. So remember, whenever you're rendezvousing or docking with anything in orbit, speed is key or control of speed is key. Remember that the amount of time it took you to speed up to the target is probably going to be the same amount of time it takes to slow down. So make sure you have plenty of room to slow down. The worst thing you can do is either run into something or bypass it completely wasting fuel trying to get back to it.
So now we rendezvous with the target and we have capture. Or in this case, we save the girl. Yay. Only this is KSP. So we ran into a bug. Yes, apparently we captured her. We brought her inside. Um, but her uh, ghost remains outside. We don't know exactly how they were separated. But uh, apparently this ghost uh, has mass. Yes, uh, uh, I tried testing it out. I tried bumping into this phantom and uh, ends up ripping one of the solar panels right off the craft. <laughs> so that was, uh, that was um, interesting to say the least. But that is okay. We have her body, that counts. Um, and we will, we will go ahead and eject uh, after we, of course, uh, make a retro burn and slow down and uh, re-enter Kerbin's atmosphere. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time I have for right now, but hopefully this video will help you in making rendezvous with floating kerbals in, the, of course, space stations or anything else that's out there in orbit. But if you're interested, I might even make uh, a tutorial about how to go to other worlds and planets and moons and stuff of that nature. Now, again, I'm not a professional by any means, but I'll show you what I know. So until next time, I am Veos Human. I am Veos Human. Signing off, and have a good night, night, night. Obviously, it's huge.